Hundreds of church pastors, staff, and volunteers from around the country will gather in San Diego this weekend at the Valued Conference to learn more about the issue of abuse and how they can help victims. Abuse survivor Rachel Denhollander, who helped, who helped to convict gymnast Dr. Larry Nasser, will speak, as will Boz Chavijan and a former child abuse prosecutor and current ministry consultant on the issue. Two churches in San Diego, Redemption Church and Resurrection Presbyterian Church, organized this conference, and Pastor Adam Smith joins us now with more. So, Pastor Smith, you minister at a small church, but had the idea about a year ago for this conference, and it sounds like it's really taken off. Why do you think it has generated such interest? Thanks, Ephraim. Yeah, I think it's generated so much interest here because of the prevalence of the issue, as well as the degree to which people care about the issue. Uh, I think that there's a lot of desire to bring this conversation from darkness into light and to, to see our churches do better in, in ministering the love and the gospel of Christ to those who are hurting. Who is actually going to be attending this conference and what kind of conversation are you hoping to have? You can shed some more light on that. Yeah, thanks. We've got about 100 churches that we're expecting to be represented from 18 states that are coming, and that was a big surprise to us as, as a couple small churches putting this together uh, who simply had a felt need to learn on this issue and wanted to invite others to join the conversation with us. Uh, so, so we've got about 100 churches represented from 18 states and three countries. And the goal of the conference is to, to start shedding light and to learn together, uh, bringing this conversation into public so that we can all better understand safeguard and, and respond to issues of, of sexual abuse and assault as the church faces them. The issue of abuse can be daunting, especially for small churches with limited resources. Now, your church is an example of a small church that is doing something. What would you say to other small churches uh, where leaders want to help victims of abuse but don't exactly know where to begin? Yeah, I think it, it would be really important for all of us to keep the desire to learn and to love um, and to minister Christ's love. And so as long as we can keep uh, approaching this, um, thinking creatively and trying to, to bring this conversation um, public and, and, and work together on this issue, um, growing our wisdom and our maturity and our articulation of Christ, um, growing our practices to better safeguard our churches um, and better to respond to people who, who've experienced so much hurt. Now, for those who are not able to attend the conference this weekend but are very interested, is there any way for them to participate? Yeah, they, they're able to watch on uh, free online at valuedconference.com. We'll have the conference will be live, and we will also, uh, we'll also be sharing those videos after the fact if churches want to do a watching party or, or a training or a discussion event on the the topic uh, after the fact. Real quick before I let you go, what was it that led you to lead this effort? You know, I think there was a felt desire uh, for us at our church to to learn on this topic and to to grow the conversation. And so we simply wanted to, to learn. And instead of just trying to do something for ourselves and use our budget that way, uh, we have a, a church that was willing to to try to take a little bit of risk, put some seed money into something that would be a little bit more public and grow the conversation beyond just ourselves so that we can all together learn and grow and, and serve Christ together. Pastor Schmidt, thank you for your time. We'll be praying for you this weekend and we'll follow up on this story. Thank you very much. Up next, a look at the new FDA approved drug specifically developed to treat severe depression after childbirth. Stay with us. Parents, the Superbook Bible app is a great way to get your child reading the Bible because in today's busy world, we can use some help. The free Superbook Bible app has fun stuff your kids will love. They'll have a blast learning the Bible, playing great games, watching cool videos, discovering heroes in the Bible. They'll have fun while they learn God's Word. The Superbook Kids Bible app, available now. Life, it's meant to be lived fully. Jesus said it, I came to give you life, life to the fullest, life in your family, life in your finances, life in your body, mind, and spirit. 
life in your every day. At CBN.com, we're taking what Jesus said seriously. We're here to help you discover life. Life. Live it fully. CBN.com. Discover the I wills of God. I will rescue him, protect him, answer him, be with him in trouble, deliver him, honor him, satisfy him with long life, show him my salvation. What I felt was loved and treasured. God spared my life twice in three days. The good Lord had given me a second chance. Call 1-800-700-7000 or visit CBN.com. The I wills of God, the latest teaching from Pat Robertson. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the first drug specifically developed for postpartum depression. The agency approved it Tuesday. It's an IV drug called Zolreso, and it is given over the course of two and a half days. Now, in a company-funded study of new mothers with moderate to severe postpartum depression, half of the women given Zolreso had depression end within two and a half days. Now, doctors say the infusion helps to restore normal hormone levels as well as emotions. Many of our antidepressants are helpful in getting symptoms down, but not completely gone for, for many people. So this is a significant advance uh, for women suffering with postpartum depression because of the rapid onset that they're well within 60 hours of receiving the medicine. Now, the company is also developing a second similar treatment that will be in pill form. Postpartum depression, by the way, affects about 400,000 American women a year. Now, joining us with more on this is our health reporter, Lori Johnson. So, Lori, this is important for you. Tell us about what you know and your experiences. Well, postpartum depression is extremely serious. It's very dangerous, and it's personal to me because I had it, and if it hadn't been for my mother who pulled me out of it, I don't know what would have happened. And we really do need to keep tabs on our new mothers because so many women like me don't know they have it or are too ashamed to talk about the way they feel mm -hmm. because there's so much pressure to be happy after you have a new baby. Yeah. And when you have postpartum depression, you are not happy. Mm -hmm. So they estimate that about one in five women has postpartum depression. Oh. One in 500 has it so severely that they are at risk for suicide and infanticide, oh. which we have seen in the news. Mm -hmm. And I spoke with a psychiatrist who specializes in postpartum depression, and she says children of depressed moms lag behind other children oftentimes with language development, difficulty bonding with people, behavior behavioral problems like crying and anger and difficulty regulating their emotions. A mother experiences um, extreme agitation, extreme mood swings, confusion about what's real, disorientation, disorganized thoughts or speak, and often hallucinations and delusions. It's really an emergency situation. Postpartum depression, I mean, it's a biological illness. It's a medical illness. It's not caused by a weak personality. It's not caused by um, um, a failure on the mother to do what she's supposed to do. It's a biological illness. So it's not something a mom has any control over. The interesting thing is, is that the degree of impairment in the children seems to be related to the duration of the mom's depression. So the longer a mother is depressed, the more likely and the more serious the impairment would be in the child. So, Ephra, why do some people get postpartum depression? 24 hours after you give birth, your levels of progesterone, mm -hmm. the hormone progesterone, mm -hmm. plummet. Mm -hmm. Add on to that sleep deprivation, mm -hmm. an unhealthy diet. Also, uh, being the worst part is isolation. Mm -hmm. It's the isolation, also not getting any exercise and getting outside and being with people. It's just compounded, but it's mostly the isolation. And when you think about it, in other cultures, even our culture years ago, women would bond together and, you know, they would raise a child as a group. Mm -hmm. So if you know someone who recently had a baby, go check on them and notice little things like if the vacuum cleaner has been sitting in the same spot for the last four days, mm -hmm. if the laundry 
laundry is piling up, if they're not able to function, they probably are at risk for postpartum depression. You need to get them outside. Mm -hmm. Exercise is the best thing and sunlight and uh, with other people, take the baby off their hands. They need help. It's often the things that will help them the most are the things they want to do the mm -hmm. least. Absolutely. And they need sleep, yes. which means babysitters. Absolutely. Uh, we have more information on postpartum depression on our website, cbnnews.com. That's good, good. Thank you so much for the eye-opening report. Much My appreciated. Pleasure. Still ahead, Israel's president visited an important biblical site Tuesday. What special projects do leaders have planned from the, for the area? We're going to explore that when we come back. Stay with us. When you give, smiles grow bigger. When you care, homes are happier. When you comfort, the hurt goes away. When we all come together to love, miracles happen. Hello, I'm Terry Newsom. Did you know there are more than 148 million orphans in the world today? 148 million. But it was three little girls that taught me about the plight of orphans. My husband and I spent nearly a month immersed in the daily activities of a Ukrainian orphanage as we waited to adopt three sisters. I saw firsthand the utter loneliness, the pain of rejection, and the overwhelming desire to be loved. That experience changed me forever. And out of it grew a ministry from my heart called Orphan's Promise. Today, we're helping orphans and vulnerable children in more than 50 countries worldwide. Thousands of children are now in safe homes. They're being educated and they're learning life skills. I'm asking you to join with me and become family to these children. Will you call the number on your screen right now? Because every child deserves a chance to be happy. Hello? Is this thing on? Hey, kids, do you love games? And do you love discovering things? Yeah. Well, do you? Yeah. Then you're going to love this. It's the new free Superbook Kids Bible app. You can play games, watch videos, find answers to your questions, and a whole lot more. The new Superbook Kids Bible app. Free downloads available on iTunes and Google Play now. Israeli officials and church leaders are working to develop the land of the monasteries and Jesus' baptismal site. The group took a tour of the area yesterday. The project is aimed at developing and preserving abandoned monasteries and churches along the Jordan River. Back in 2015, Israel's president said he believes the project shows Israel's commitment to religious freedom. And we have a reminder for you, be sure to check out our CBN News Daily Rundown podcast with Caitlin Burke. On the podcast, she gives you a behind-the-scenes look at at least one key story in the news every single day. Now, you can find that podcast at CBNNews.com on the Show tab. And when you go there, you can click to listen and also to subscribe so you're updated every time that podcast is updated. Well, that will do it for this edition of CBN News Watch. We thank you so much for your company. Remember, you can always get more on the issues you care most about at CBNNews.com. And you can watch CBN News programs anytime throughout the day on the CBN News channel. We'd love to know what you think about the stories you've seen here today. You can do that by emailing newswatch at CBN.com. And you can always reach out and touch us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Make it a thankful Thursday, everybody. We'll see you right back here same time tomorrow. Goodbye and God bless.